We begin with breaking news and what could be criminal charges in the Michael Jackson case. Well, the uh, inquiry into the uh, death of Mr. Jackson is continuing. Uh, we will still await corroboration from the coroner's office as to the cause of death. That is going to be very dependent on the toxicology reports that uh, uh, do to come back. And based on those, we'll have an idea of what it is that we're dealing with. Uh, are we dealing with a homicide? Are we dealing with an accidental overdose? Uh, what are we dealing with? So we're looking at uh, his prescription drug history, uh, the doctors that he's dealt with over the years. Classification of a death investigation to homicide, what needs to take place? That would actually be the coroner's determination. He, he makes the determination as to the nature of the death that we are, uh, as has been reported in the media speaking to and we'll be seeking to speak to a number of the physicians that attended Mr. Jackson over the years that he was being treated. Because the investigation is going one way doesn't mean uh, some physician is going to be thrown in jail. I'm not even going to speak to that. Uh, well, wait uh, to see what the coroner comes back with. Uh, I'm not going to speculate at this time. I prefer to wait till he comes back with his findings. He has his role of responsibility. We have our role of responsibility. But uh, the next move really is his.
infamous turned out for celebrity attorney Johnny Cochran's funeral. Among the 5,000 people who came to pay their respects on Wednesday were Cochran's former clients, O.J. Simpson, Sean P. Diddy Combs, and Michael Jackson. I think that people always think in the public of Johnny Cochran and O.J. Simpson. If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. And Johnny was so much more. It was a day of celebration of life. I, I think that uh, Johnny would have loved it. Uh, uh, was it odd to see O.J. Simpson and, and Michael Jackson there together? I don't think it was odd because I expected it. Uh, O.J. Simpson owes Johnny Cochran a life. Yeah. Uh, Michael Jackson owes Johnny Cochran a life back from that 1993 case that was settled. Michael Jackson was very subdued. Michael Jackson came in, as he always does, with his handlers under the umbrella, and he was very quiet and withdrawn, mm -hmm. sitting with his lawyer, Tom Mesereau, who was very pleased that Michael was there. I'm joined by two men who were instrumental in saying that it all came off. Los Angeles Police Chief William Bratton and Ken Ehrlich, who produced uh, this memorial. It was, uh, from our perspective, the public safety perspective, a perfect day, great day for the city of Los what Angeles. What was important to us was we had a we had a, a mandate from the family. They wanted they they said um, we don't want to do a TV show. You know, you do good TV shows. We want a service. We want you to help us take Michael home. This needs to have reverence. It needs to have respect, and it needs to have. The, it needs to, the overlay is the, the 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 greatness of the artist who I was fortunate enough to work with a number of times, Michael. Tell us about the last time you saw Michael perform. You saw his rehearsals. Well, I, I came down two weeks. I think it was probably two weeks from tomorrow night. You know, two weeks ago, um, I I had come down. We were talking about doing a project together, a TV special. We had worked together. And, uh, you know, he asked me if I would stay for the back half of the rehearsal, which I was thrilled to do because I hadn't seen any of it. Um, and uh, it was terrific. All of these stories about him being looking tired and frail and the rest of it. He was rehearsing, so you know he was still learning. And Michael had a process that when he was in the learning stages of something, it was all about that process. Uh, the meeting that I had with him before, he was funny, he was glib. As a matter of fact, that he was probably uh, in better, you know, in, better, in fine nick, as we as we would say. Um, he was just great. So you know, it was a shock the next day. because he was this sort of uh, consummate performer and you've done so many different kinds of shows. Was this a particular kind of pressure? Well, <laughs> yeah, there, there's always pressure, but with this one, you know, I mean, you know, we would get all of these reports would start coming in the most watched television, you know, thing in, in one history, and one billion people, and all of that. So no yeah, but it, but it, but at the end of the day, interestingly enough, at the end of the day, the the pressure was the pressure we put on ourselves. Actually, I watched him inside. That he was probably the calmest person in there. A couple of his assistants were starting to get a little unglued at one point in time, and he's, he's just reached out and take it easy. It's okay. You know, again, that uh, I was very admiring of his calm uh, with all that pressure. It's with all due respect to your skill in putting this together in such a short period of time, you can produce the greatest show that was ever produced and it still would be hard to top a little girl saying how much she loved her daddy and saying, you know, goodbye to her daddy. What we kind of showed today was um, 
everything that had happened in the last few years, the last number of years, where we where we put him under a microscope and dissected him. You know, maybe we ought to have instead reveled in his in his brilliance, in the music that he gave us, in in his lyrics, in his ability to change the way people performed. Um, and he'll always be remembered for that, and, and maybe some of the other stuff. Frankly, maybe it'll never be forgotten, but maybe it'll be put into perspective. And I did notice, Chief, you're the only person I've seen who doesn't wear an armband. Everyone else, <laughs> even Ken Ehrlich, has I an armband. Wear this. <laughs> the shield that, 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 that says that, that Chief. Opens every door in the city. <laughs> procession and LA police warn the neighborhood will be off limits if you do not have a ticket if you are not credentialed not only will you not be allowed at these venues you will not be allowed in this area From our perspective, the public safety perspective, a perfect day. Great day for the city of Los Angeles. Uh, it was literally flawless. That uh, ran only about 10, 15 minutes overtime. And the partnership between the uh, people putting on the event, public safety, police and fire, you, the media, uh, it, it, it was a great day. Yeah, there was a lot of concern about people ignoring the calls to stay home, but there really weren't that many people who came down to uh, downtown Los uh, Angeles. I don't think there were 15 to 20,000 people. They were probably outside. I think that we had more people inside, and I think a lot of that had to do with your cooperation over the last several days. Every event we did with you, we talked about stay home. The perimeter is going to be so large. You are not going to be able to see anything. You're not going to be able to see anybody. Sit in your living room and watch it in comfort. And I think most people heeded that advice. civil litigation, rest assured that before I file any lawsuit to recoup taxpayers' costs, I will confer with you in closed session. 
our investigation has taken an unanticipated turn that raises both civil and criminal aspects. Ethical considerations and the need to protect the integrity of the investigation prevent me from discussing anything related to the criminal investigation. What I will say is that items number 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, all dealing with the Michael Jackson Memorial, the lunches that were purchased in Wrightwood, etc., those matters have been referred to the legislative office, the analyst office, and report back to the council in 60 days.
us about the last time you saw Michael perform. You saw his rehearsals? Well, I, I came down two weeks, I think it was probably two weeks from tomorrow night, you know, two weeks ago. You know, he asked me if I would stay for the back half of the rehearsal. With him. And uh, it was terrific. All of these stories about him being looking tired and frail and the rest of it. He had an energy. Um, he was just great. So, you know, it was a shock the next day.